Hello, my name is uh, Joan. I'm the executive chef of the Chatfield uh, Resident Saton. Uh, we will prepare one of the dishes that I really like. It's a raw dish. It's a tartar. We will prepare with beef. Uh, in this case, we will prepare with the beef uh, tenderloin. Tenderloin from Australia, really good quality. And then we will prepare as well the tartar with the vegetables. In this case, with the tomato. We have here tomatoes as well. Uh, all of these products are very easy to find. Uh, can be found in the supermarkets, in the normal supermarkets in Bangkok, in Thailand. And uh, I think it's it's quite interesting to prepare at home. Uh, what we will do is we will prepare first the, the main products. We will cut the products with the with the tartar tartar chain that basically is with the small dices. The first thing we need to do is cut the, the beef in this case in cubes. The next thing that we will do, we will put the beef in the bowl with some ice and we will start to introduce all the garnish for the tartar. Then we will take the, the beef, we will put in the bowl. We have our beef in the bowl and we will start to put the, the garnish for the beef tartar. This is very personal, it means you can play as, as you like. Uh, me, I like to put shallot. The shallot we already cut in, in brunoise in very small dices. I like to put like two spoons of shallots. Then we have the spring onion. Spring onion as well we cut. Then we have the salt. The salt that we already prepared. We put inside the salt. We have here the lead bearings and we have the HP salt. We have the mustard, the Dijonese nice mustard. We have the ketchup. This one is a homemade ketchup. We make uh, with uh, fresh tomatoes, uh, shallots, vinegar and some spice. Then we will put some anchovies. Anchovies are important to have some nice quality anchovies. These ones are from the Cantabrian cheese. Then we have the capers. We have the egg yolk. I like to use a little bit of lime, give some sour to the dish. And then we have the Tabasco. Tabasco we can play if we like more or less spicy. I personally, I like a spicy. And then we finish with extra virgin olive oil. The last one, it will be some pepper, black pepper. And then the tartar is already finished. We will go ahead with the plating of the beef and we will show you how we play with the plating. It's a lot of options. We can play in a lot of different ways and we will show you our, our way. We will go ahead with the plating of the dish. We already prepared the beef. We put in the in the ring, in the plate. Again, we can prepare in a different ways. We can make more simple plating. Uh, in this case, what I did is I prepared some egg. I marinate the eggs with the salt and sugar for 45 minutes. And then I put in a soy sauce bag for two hours. But we can use a normal egg without marinade, it's working as well. Uh, we will take the egg. And then we will uh, decorate with different herbs and different spices that we have here. The first one that I like to use is the nori seaweed. It's a nori seaweed powder. I like it gives uh, some umami to the dish. Then we take the nori seaweed and we put around the plate. I like to put a little bit more of a spring onions. Then uh, we have here some uh, caviar oil. And then we will uh, finalize with some microgreens. Here we have our, our beef tartar. Uh, always we like to present with some bread, which is a nice matching uh, to eat with the bread. Something crunchy. And then as the same than the beef, we will make now the tartar with the tomatoes. I recommend you to make with the tomatoes from the, from the can, like the tomatoes in conserve. The texture, it will be really interesting and as well they will be very sweet. And we will do exactly the same than in a normal tartar, like in a beef tartar or fish tartar or seafood, whatever tartar. We will slice the tomatoes in uh, cubes. When we have the tomato in the bowl, we will start to marinate with the different products. Number one, it will be the salt. Then we have the shallot. Shallot, which has a slice in dice. 
we have the Dijon mustard. Then we have the homemade ketchup. Then we have the HP sauce, three pairings, egg yolk, a little bit of lime juice, Tabasco as you like. If you like more spicy or less spicy, you can play spring onions as well. Alright, when we have the tomato, we will put the last touch at our dish. I like to put some spring onion. For this tomato tartare, I like to use anchovies. And I put the whole piece of anchovy. This anchovy is from the Cantabrian Sea. I like to use as well some Iberico ham. This Iberico ham is from Joselito, one of the best brands in the world. I will use some uh, cheese. We can use whatever kind of cheese that we like. And the last touch for finish this dish, it will be the, the nori seaweed that it will give the umami, umami flavor. We put only a little bit around. And we finish with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil arbequina. And voila! We have here our tomato tartar. Hope you enjoy it.